about four months ago we posted a video of us cutting obsidian and since then we've gotten a lot of comments of people wanting us to make a knife out of obsidian. We've got a couple different methods of how we make the knife, but first we gotta cut out the blanks. Okay, we've got two knife blanks. We've got a thin one and a thicker one. What are the strategies? I think the true way you're supposed to do it is called napping. Uh, and then we're gonna also try it just with like normal way you would sharpen a knife. Are you a professional napper? Do you know um, how to nap? I took a nap earlier today. <laughs> and then this one, we have a professional knife sharpening kit. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the best knife sharpening kit on the market see if we can which one we can actually make sharper and more knifey and then the final test will be cutting a tomato to see which knife slices it better and then after that if we're bored we'll probably just like cut each other knife fight yeah knife fight a lot stabby stabby craig will mediate it oh yeah next step let's go find a napping stone a stone to nap on i thought this was supposed to be like metal copper is it i i honestly know nothing about napping you should watch the video this is an authentic Native American napping tool. Don't quote us on that. First nap. That's a, that's a pretty good looking nap. <laughs> we were way off on how to do this. You hit the edge and then it breaks off and uh, gets it nice and nappy. I think I might slice my hand off. It's getting pretty sharp over there. I think officially you're supposed to like break bigger pieces and kind of see where the lines run and then base it off that. But we cut it with the water jet so... But this is kind of my knifey point right here I'm working on. You think it can pass the tomato test? With our primitive tools. This is about the best I feel like doing. Where's Craig at? Um, I think he went to the bathroom like 20 minutes ago. We should go see if he needs help. Gross, Craig, are you eating in the bathroom? Well, it's not the worst thing that's happened in here. Clean yourself up. Okay, now that we've got Craig all cleaned up and taken care of. We're good, back to work. Let's sharpen the other one now. So it turns out obsidian is hard, who knew? That part is cut flat and then we tilted it up so we will get a natural point and then you can sharpen it for six hours. Then the ultimate tomato test. This has got like the perfect knife blade serrated edge on it. Cut straight from the water jet. We made a bread knife. Do we even need to sharpen it? See that. I'm pretty sure I can slice a tomato right now. Oh yeah, effortless. I could probably get like a paper thin slice here. That's a real tomato. Fun fact for the day, did you know that obsidian can cut atoms in half? And they call it like nuclear, is that fusion or fission? I don't know, but that can do that. I learned it in the comments of our last video. <laughs> this is the uh, napped knife. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Okay, that's actually doing better than I thought it would. I thought you'd just be smashing it flat. Okay, let's see the thinnest slice I can cut with this. <laughs> substantially worse, but better than we thought. If someone were better at napping, I think you could do a decent job cutting a tomato. 
but probably not as good as the water jet straight out of the water jet. I think we have a, a product here. I think that's like a finished product right there. We could go door to door and start selling that right now. We'd have success. Uh, we just need a handle on it. Maybe a handle made out of a uh, woolly mammoth tooth. Ooh. There are two takeaways from this video. One, you don't need to buy a knife sharpener, just get a water jet. And two, 